everyone this is Rachelle thanks for clicking on my video and I came in today to talk about the relationship between Jackie Christie and her daughter Takari I think that's how you pronounce her name um, this is a relationship uh, between a mother and daughter that as a mother myself bothers me quite a bit now, what made me do this uh, video is because I just read a, a story about Jackie Christie's daughter. And in the story, it says that her daughter, Takari's son, was recently burned at his daycare. Now, I think the baby was burned um, back in late September. Uh, this baby is only eight months old. And... Um, the story that I read says that Jackie Christie's daughter started a GoFundMe to help with expenses for the care of the baby. Now, from the story that I'm reading, the daughter did have a job, but because of the extent of the baby's burns, he needs around the clock care. So she had to quit her job to care for her baby um, it said that she did not have enough I guess like sick time or paid time off to cover the amount of time that she would need to be off now what happened is when she posted that GoFundMe of course a lot of people knowing who she was and that she was the daughter of Jackie Christie they started asking her why are you you know, posting this GoFundMe when your mother is Jackie Christie, is she not helping? Now, that's what I read today. Now, taking a step back, we know a few seasons ago, we saw this daughter on Basketball Wives. Now, we always saw her other daughter, Shani, but we never really saw this daughter. And then there was an episode that the daughter was on and Shani and her kind of confronted Jackie about the differences that, you know, that were made uh, between Shani and this daughter. Now, they did this whole thing about, you know, it, it was a, a thing with a, a dark and light and, you know, light skin and all of that. But I think this story goes a little bit deeper than that. This daughter, Takari, is by a previous relationship that Jackie has, so she's not Doug Christie's child. From what I'm reading, um, Jackie had this girl when she was 22 years old, and shortly after her birth, she was given to Jackie's mother to raise. Now, the stories that I'm reading are saying that after Jackie gave her daughter to her mother to raise. Jackie went on and, you know, was living this life of a basketball wife and was doing really well while the grandmother was struggling to raise her daughter, probably because the grandmother was living on a fixed income or, you know, she wasn't working at a job that paid a lot. This story goes on to say that Jackie didn't help financially raise her daughter, that it was all done by the grandmother. Now, what I believe is when that girl was growing up in that home, she built up a lot of resentment towards Jackie because she knew that her mother was living this lavish lifestyle while her and her grandmother were struggling. I also read that this daughter um, when she was younger, um, she had some hearing problems that went undiagnosed and it accounted for her not learning well in school. And I think growing up, she just developed some issues because I know on social media, um, Jackie painted her as crazy and a little off kilter. I think the girl does have some issues, but that's not what this video is about. It's about her son, the daughter's son, Jackson, the little eight month old that was burned. Now, <clears throat> from watching the show, we know 
Jackie and this daughter d do not have a good relationship at all. This daughter is never on basketball wise while Shani, the other daughter, actually had a storyline on basketball wise. If you guys remember, she was battling with Drea over, you know, Drea and her possibly sleeping with this guy at the same time. So that was the storyline that she had on the show. Now, in the meantime, this girl is struggling. You know, she has children, which are Jackie's grandkids. And this baby here recently was burned. Now, the girl takes to social media here recently um, with this GoFundMe and saying that her mother won't help her. Now, from what I'm reading, the girl is not asking Jackie to pay medical bills because it sounds like she has that cover. I think what this girl is actually asking for is living expenses, groceries and, you know, help with utilities and, and rent and things like that. Now, I also read, and, and it's a lot in this story, that um, this girl used to live in a home that was owned by Jackie. And for one reason or another, I think once the girl started, you know, blasting her mother on social media, Jackie kicked her and her children out of that home that she owned. Now, again, it's obvious that this mother and daughter are having problems. And um, this is where personally as a mother, this bothers because as a mother, it is difficult enough when you have them as teenagers because you know when they go through those teenage years you know they change from the sweet little babies that they were before the teenage years and you you start to deal with a few issues once they become teenagers and then not to mention when they become adults because once they become adults you are like a co-pilot in their life where in their lives where before you were the captain because you were the parent they were under age and you kind of ran the ship but once they become adults when you assume that co-pilot position basically you can give them advice but because they're adults they don't have to take it they can either choose to listen or not listen and you can only sit back and watch them make mistakes. Now, this whole thing between Jackie and her daughter is sad at this point because if this were my child, I think when it came to my grandchild, I would put aside maybe what I felt for my daughter and help for the sake of my grandchild. Even if Jackie could do this, she could set up a you know some type of account where the daughter has to account for everything that she withdraws the money for <clears throat> or jackie could tell the daughter give me a list of all of your expenses and i will make sure that you don't have to worry about having a roof over you and that baby's head while he's going through this crisis to totally turn your back on your child when they're going through a crisis where their baby was hurt through no fault of their own from the reports this baby was burned at the at the daycare that takari had the baby in they said that in in the report that there was a bottle warmer or something that spilled over and spilled over the baby which there is an investigation into how that bottle warmer came to be in the vicinity of a little eight month old baby so eventually i believe that that case will be litigated but in the meantime if the girl had to quit her job to care for her baby you mean to tell me jackie cannot put aside her feelings or whatever problems that her and this daughter have to help this girl take care of her baby for me 
that really speaks to who Jackie Chrissy really is. Because like I said, I might have differences with my children at different times because my children are adults. I actually had my first child at the same age that Jackie was when she had this girl, Takari. And, you know, I did not, you know, give my child to my mother to, to take care of. I stepped up to my responsibility and myself and my child's father took care of our responsibility. But be that as it may, I just don't understand, you know, not even, not even calling Takari, her daughter, to ask the baby's welfare, to ask about how the baby is doing. Is it anything that you can help with? You know, this is really, really a sad situation. And I already thought Jackie was a little off and quirky and had some issues. But this makes me really, really side-eye her. Now, this daughter, Takari, said that Doug Christie uh, came into her life or came into Jackie's life when she was about three or four. And she said that Doug had always been very kind to her and took on the responsibility of a quote-unquote stepfather, even though, you know, that there were issues between her and her mother. But she said that when Jackie cut her out of her life then Doug also t did too and that left her feeling like she had no parents now there are a couple things that I read that you know say that the, this daughter might have some issues you know um, I guess parenting and being responsible and all of that but this baby though y'all eight months old and burned like that I think I will put all that stuff aside and like I said, you know, offer to pay her household expenses, you know, for as long as that baby is still in crisis. And then after that, you know, maybe she would be on her own, but I could not totally turn my back on an innocent baby. Y'all, I'd like to know what you think of this story. Um, I think I might have been a little late on hearing about this. Um, tell me if you guys had heard anything about this. Um, do you have any additional information? It just seems really sad and like really cold hearted to, <clears throat> excuse me, not even call to check the welfare of the baby that part you know even if she you know when the baby was in the hospital called the hospital anonymously and said you know I'm Jackie Christie this is my grandson and I just wanted to check to see how he's coming along see y'all that that really 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 burns me you know it just really burns me so with that um, it's the end of the of the video and again I'd like to know again have you guys heard anything about this and what do you think of Jackie? I mean, we all know that she's quirky, but in this case, what do you think of her as a grand a grandmother? Alrighty, thank you for watching the video. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.